Hi everyone, welcome to the Graceful Skinny Vlogs. Today I have got for you a um, review of the book, This is the World. Let's get right into it. I bought this recently at a um, at Temper Doodle's damaged sale, and you may be looking at this going, where's the damage? And really truly, when I got all of the things from the damage sale, I felt the same way. Um, I have found, finally found it, um, and really, it's just this tiny little corner here, right here, and I will open this up, the jacket up, so you can see it a little better, maybe? Here, I'm gonna use my phone's stylus so you can see it better. It's it's this little corner right there. And that's, that's it. So uh, somebody dropped the edge of this book. That's it. Um, I believe this is in Timberdoodle's second grade curriculum kits for this year. Um, but really, truly, and you might be wondering why I went ahead and got it. I got it because it was less than half off. This is a $40 book normally, and I think I got it for like 20 bucks less. I don't know. Um, I wanted it mainly, and if you've been watching my channel at all, you know my daughter's obsession with clocks, specifically Big Ben, and seeing Big Ben here and the, how wonderful the image was, I knew I wanted to get my hands on it if I could find it for a good price. And I'd heard so many good things about Timber Doodle's damage sale that when I saw it for 20 bucks, I snatched it up. And let me tell you, having seen this in person, I can say that even at $40, it's worth the price. It is a beautifully done book. Um, I would say that this is a book that even as young as kindergarten or pre-K could enjoy. Um, here's a table of contents. These are the places that, you, that it highlights and goes to. So it goes to New York, Ireland, Britain, London, Edinburgh, Rome, Paris, Venice, a lot of Europe, um, Texas, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Hong Kong, Australia, Israel, Greece, and Munich. Um, and so it travels all over. It kind of talks about that city or that location. Um, it's so pretty. It gives little facts. Um, I, I would get, I would not hesitate to buy this for any age. Like I said, for kindergarten, pre-K even, um, I don't think I have to tell you what my daughter, what, what my daughter's favorite page is. Um, she squealed like a fangirl when she saw this page. Um, uh, and there's a whole section on Britain and on London, and I am really excited to send this off with my daughter to my parents' house, to, to my parents, um, one of whom is actually, was born and raised and, um, and is British. So, uh, and, and, and so the, um, my dad and my, um, daughter's bond over all things Britain. British is uh, kind of cute and they often like to talk about it. And so I, I see hours of discussion between granddad and little miss um, happening with this, but all throughout the book is beautiful. Um, the facts are great. Um, I wouldn't call this a curriculum piece, but it is a definite enhancement to any um anybody looking for geography en enrichment for their child, or if you're trying to go about the unschooling method and trying to sneak in some discussions about different places, I think this would be a good for that because it really reads like a storybook. And I'm kind of jealous. I wish I had a book like this when I was a kid. It is beautiful and my daughter has been itching to get her hands on it. I just haven't let her have it yet because I wanted to do this video. Um, so yes, again, the book is called This is the World by M. Sazic. Let's see. Saz well, there's no other place where it says it. So yeah, This is the World by M. Sazic, um, a global treasury. S-A-S-E-K. Uh, highly recommend it even, if it, even if you have to drop 40 bucks on it. It is a book that would be well-loved in any 
home library. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.